Hi grasshoppers! I posted a video earlier this week saying that I will record some combinations in two days. Today is the two days. One of the requests was a uppercut counter from Vic. Vic, I got you covered, baby. Julian. So you can counter before. I mean, that was one of the things with the Bruce Lee, the way of the intercepting fist to disrupt their momentum before they can even get going. Time their step in the wind, which came from fencing, by the way, when Mr. Bruce Lee studied fencing, and he would just time that initial interception just to break down the combination or to nullify their combo, whatever they may be, may be throwing. But the reason I'm talking about that is I would first like to make sure that we can defend first before we counter, even though Bruce Lee liked to counter before he actually defended. That was part of his defense. He was intercept. But the question that we got from Vic was how to defend and counter uppercuts. Here are some ways. So uppercuts will be a bit closer to doing conformity. Uh, he throws the right uppercut. One way to defend is just dropping your rear hand down, right to right, left to left. You can go left hand as well. So if you go to the reload, go rear uppercut again. You can do this, okay? I like to go right for the block, but then those this for the counter. So if he goes right uppercut, block, counter. It's just a little twist. Boom, boom. Also, what you can do is the rear uppercut comes, you just pair it off with your left elbow. And that sets you up for your own right elbow. So there is another counter and defense. Rear uppercut, parry, elbow, well, obviously it can be, boom, across as well, or parry, knee, round kick, there are other options, okay? Let's talk about the left uppercut. Left uppercut comes, boom, left hand, left uppercut comes, right hand. So those are two basic options, obviously. Same thing, we can parry it with the elbow. He goes left uppercut, parry, his own counter back with that elbow, so that is an option. Or again, what I was talking about earlier, with the hooks. You don't always see things. So you have to build that sixth, sixth sense to know and feel when they are going to try to throw and strike. And you can start seeing some things with them changing their levels and loading things up. Or like we just see with Connor and Cowboy, Cowboy kick Connor, what did Connor do? Kicked him right back. Monkey see, monkey do. So with that being said, open stance, yes sir. So with that being said, same thing happens. You come here, come here, go close stance. Ninja. If I want Julian to throw an uppercut, all I have to do is just throw an uppercut at him first. And he'll throw it back. That can counter. So I'm talking about as being one step ahead, knowing when to counter. Because when do you know if he's gonna throw an uppercut? Probably after you throw one. Boom, you just counter that back. So there's one way that you can defend things is by first throwing it, hoping that he throws it back so you can actually counter it. So with that being said, I'll throw my right uppercut. Boom, he throws the right uppercut back. Parry, counter back with an elbow or whatever you want. But Vic, you asked about how to defend and counter uppercuts. There are a couple ways for you. Julian, thank you, sir. Boom.